So today's glorious topic of discussion is on farming. <laughs> uh, with that, I want to talk with farming, uh, what teams to use, when to do it, and along with how you can get gems out of it. Obviously, most of these people, most of the people already watching this, know how to do that, but I bet none of you are actually doing it. So, to start off, here's some teams that you can work with. Because you can't farm if you don't have a good team. In short, you want to use anybody with AoE attacks. Pretty much 1 to uh, one to 2 is probably where most of these characters lie. But 3 is perfect, and you will probably not get anything else. Now to start off, this is mine. Now I worked, this was my main team for ever and a half. For probably about, I don't know, whenever these characters came out. Like, the second I had these three, it was game over. And I had Alioni in the back. And then when Festival Zeldris came out, it was peak. Uh, you want them all working together. And what I mean by that is, well, starting with Death Pierce, every debuff attack skill does 50% more damage. So that increases his own. That even goes for Gothers. Dissolve card. Shins, um, what is it, like, ult damage decrease, uh, effect, and Shin also has weak point. So that means every, for every, no, whenever an enemy has a debuff, any debuff at all, Shin does three times extra damage to that opponent. So now I have him with Sariel, who now already makes him do more damage. Gother, who does 35, yeah, 35 extra damage, 35 attack related stats increase. With, you know, demon, human, unknown, they'll always be in the front. And then, um, Zel Zeldris, for every debuff, uh, for every debuff, you get X percent basic stat increase relating to Shin's attack. So Shin is just doing tons of damage is what's happening. Pretty much the whole team relies on Shin doing most of his damage. And you build characters around that to... To uh, increase his own damage. So I had Shin. I wanted to keep using Shin. So I, bit, I put him here. Because... Oh, he has extra debuffs. He might, he'll make the debuff stronger. But him here, he's increasing the attack. Making Shin stronger. Oh, look. He's increasing all my stats for every debuff. Debuff, debuff, debuff. You know, probably going to peak his passive pretty quickly. That's my main auto-farming team. My second auto-farming team, which everybody should have two auto-farming teams. Or even, so, like, yeah have two auto farming teams this one is labeled hearts for a reason i'll get into that later i'll get into it later and i'll explain why this team looks like a mess because it kind of is but for other other farming team ideas this one will always be random this will never make sense but i'll get more into that later ignore this one this one is a farming team idea this one's a bit more on the whaling end, because you have a festival character and a kind of rare, rare but easy to acquire character. She's in quite a few banners. If you have her one six, that's bare minimum. That's fine. Uh, King has triple AOE attacks. She has a buff card and two AOE attack skills. Or AOE attack, AOE ultimate. AoE attack, single target attack, AoE ultimate, a booster. Lastly is a free to play team. This is probably the one that you probably want to play, blah, 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 pay most of your attention to. If you are free to play, just starting the game, don't know what to do. This is a very good team to start off with. The reason for that is, let's start with Arthur. His passive... Makes it so you do 30. Let me check real quickly. Click. You do 35% more damage to your enemies. And you take 35% uh, 
excuse me, less damage. And he has an AoE skill, just raw damage. Raw damage, AoE skill, which is pretty good. Uh, and he has a single target ultimate. That's fine. Zaratros is really good. He has an AoE skill, which ignores resistance. Which is, you know, not bad. Not good, not bad. Pretty good. For him, at least. And his passive AC does not land a crit. Uh, the increased amount will equal it to his crit chance. So, if he doesn't crit, he'll gain extra damage based on his crit chance. And his crit chance is actually pretty high. Deanne, um, her passive isn't really necessary. But she has three, she has two AoE attacks and an AoE ultimate. Which makes her so good for farming. She is the pinnacle of farming. Anybody with, like... Like a buff card, such as Purgatory Bond, and then AoE Attack, and then AoE Ultimate. Or even triple attack cards like the Steen and the new Festival King. They are very good for auto farming. Alioni is really, really good because, I mean, he's easy to get. He boosts the attack of all of these guys. So they'll be doing a bit more damage on top of Arthur's passive. On top of his increased damage. And just with her being an absolute god with farming. You can get these guys literally all in the same banner. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You can get them, not in any of these. You can get them in this banner, right here. As you can see right here, they're all in this one. They're all SSRs. So they're super easy to get. You can even get them in this one. Yeah, human giant, because Deanne's a giant. And then human, because... It's Arthur, Alioni, and Zaratrust. They're all human. So it's not bad. Plus, you can even get them from here. Most of the team. But you have, like, almost no chance of getting an SSR in this. Alioni, you can literally 6-6 probably day one. If you have a few gems. That's really it. So that is probably the best team if you are starting the game. If you're free to play. Because you don't need a lot of materials for them. They'll help you in the long run, definitely. Maybe not Deanne, so probably keep her at level 60 like I did. She's all the way down here. All the way down here. Yes, this is what your box will look like eventually. For any free-to-play or just starting the game players. Your box will look like that eventually, don't worry. So this is the green Deanne. Uh, you know, big attack, AoE. Big attack, AoE. Complete ultimate AoE. And her, her um, passive is... You get more defense for every time she has a debuff on. Doesn't really matter. So that is definitely the probably the, one of the better teams to work with. But continuing on, going back to the other one, is Hearts. The reason I say you want to have two... Is because your hearts team will most likely be much weaker than your normal auto farming team. The normal auto farming team you want to use for more difficult stages like Fort Solgris, Tower of Trials, um, boss fights if they're you know way too big, the boss battles you know when we get the death matches if those are too strong, you know and so on. But your hearts relate to the character and along with affection now probably you know anybody who's played the game for a while is like oh my god this again well yes you want to actually start doing this if you're not doing it already so first off i'm gonna go as you saw purgatory bond was on my hearts team and if i scroll down to this green bond if i get the affinity for this specific bond, all the way up to level 5, which you should be doing, get them from 0 to 5 as quickly as you can. For whatever team, for whatever auto farm unit you have. So for any example, mine was Gother, my go mine was Gother, Hendrickson, Shin, and Zeldris. 
Make sure all shins are at 5 affection. Make sure all your Gothers are at maximum affection. Make sure your Hendrickson, your Zeldrises are at maximum affection. Affinity. Affinity, affinity. I want Make the max affinity. The reason I say that is because every time you max out their affinity this, to that specific character, you will unlock an affection heart. What that means is every time... So see how I have so many Meliodas hearts and so little DNs? Every time you unlock a character, you will gain one heart. So, let's just say there's what? Let's say there's seven melees in the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right here is seven. That's for just unlocking whatever Meliodas. Like Lost Vein, you know, Assault Mode, and then the three Demon Melees. Let's just say that for now. Oh, Captain Meliodas and then the SSR Meliodas. SR Meliodas, sorry. Let's just say that. That's for unlocking them. You get the extra ones that I have here from unlocking the level 5 affinity. That's why you want to make sure all of them are level 5 are level five affinity. Because you'll get extra hearts, you'll get extra gems, and you know, you'll just be happy. So the reason I have Bond, the reason I chose Bond, is because the more level 5s I get, the more I can milk out using just Bond alone. So you don't want to go from, for, my, for an example down here, I actually did this. I maxed out my Alioni before by mistake by using him on the auto farm team and I did not have him level 5. Now I have to go back to him and reuse him. When I could have level, level 5 him earlier and milked him out for longer and not have to touch him again. Same thing with my Weinhardt. There goes my mouse. <laughs> uh, Weinhardt is one of the Pierce characters. If you don't know what that means, you don't really need it. Just make sure you have him level 5 as well and use him in the back. Now I have to go back to him when I max him out to level 5 because I didn't do so earlier. And same with my Hendrickson. I don't have all of them level 5. I think there's 3 Hendies. Or four. There's four Hendrickson's, and I guess none of them are level five, which is really sad, because I now I have to go back to him again, and now I have to waste so much more time with this character when I could have moved on already. That's why you want to make sure everybody is level five, uh, and not just level three like I did. Get them from zero to five. Use them, grind them. It doesn't matter if you're using them in the auto farm team currently or not. So, for example, my Gallant, I'm probably not going to use Gallant for a while, but make sure he is also level 5. Just because when you get to him, you don't have to worry about making them level 5. My Melascula, on the other hand, is level 5, both of them. My Blue Melascula and my Red Melascula. Therefore, I didn't need to worry about this at all. So, I don't have to worry about this later. And for characters with single... Uh, for characters with just, you know... With one unit, such as Dogetto, Death Pierce, uh, Taizu, Vivian, all these characters, you know, Hugo, Jillian. Get them to level 5 first, and then use them if you want. I definitely would say Alioni, Jillian, Tuigo, and Marmus are probably the first ones you want to get done. Same with these guys, Elat, you know, Arden, Deldry. Get them to level 5 too. And then use them in the back. Because they're not worth it. That's why I have Esterosa in the back of my hearts team. Because I'm literally just letting him gather hearts. And the way... Actually, I haven't explained this yet. The way you get these hearts is per use of stamina. So, for example, if you use... If you go to the boss battle stage. Let me go with you. Battle. Boss battle. Let's go this one. If I go to this one and complete it, I will get 20 points for Bon, Arthur, uh, Hauser, and Esterosa. But the fun part is, if I go to 
Let's say... Let's just go to this. If I go to a free stage... Oh, this is nothing. That's kind of sad. Alright, let's just go to this. I know this will have something. If you go to any free stage... I guess not that one, though. Um, it'll have half off. Well, not always. Half stamina comes around every other week. And it is Thursday for me. So, therefore, I have it. Uh, therefore, it being Thursday, it's uh, free stages for me. Friday will also be free stages. Saturdays, Saturday and Sunday are Fort Solgris. Sunday is Deathmatch. And Monday through Wednesday is Boss Battles. That comes around bi-weekly, so every other week. And when you have half stamina, the difference is it'll give you the original amount of stamina to points. For example, if I go into this and blah blah blah, I do the stage, oh I've completed it. It'll give me 10 points to uh, the affection for each hero. For only 5 stamina. If that makes sense. I'll explain one more time. If I haven't made enough sense. For 5 stamina. You are getting 10 points. That was much better. For 5 stamina. You are getting 10 points of affection. When not doing it on these days. Will give you 10 points for 10 affection. If you don't see the deal here. Then. I really can't help you. But do it during half stamina if you don't understand. Because you'll you'll understand eventually. For 5 stamina, I gain 10 points. For whoever the team I used on. So for example, I use this, I'll get 10 points. Now if you do things like Fort Solgris, I think it gives you... The Fort Solgris um, orb stages, that'll give you... I, think, I believe it's 20 stamina or 15. 20 or 15 points. Now, when you want to farm, as I said, is during half stamina. Half stamina is your best friend. Now, it's every other week. I think if I actually go over here. Oh, I can't do it because it's blocked. Ah, well, that sucks. Anyway. But believe me, half stamina comes around every other week. You can even check the little notices up here and find it. Excuse me. Um, so half stamina every other week. You can farm, 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 farm. And it'll even tell you when, uh, what days are half off. What days to what events are half off. It's a lot to take in, and it's a big mouthful for me, I understand. So, farm food when the half stamina is here. That might not make sense to a lot of people to say, Oh, why not do gear? Because it's also in the free stages, and I need that more often. Well, I could see that, I understand why. But gear... Is a late game expense. Throughout the game, you're going to be getting, you know, free gear. Um, free gear, a bunch of, you know, SSRs from from playing the game. You can even buy it with gold. So it's really not a huge expense in my eyes. Having food and gaining hearts, affection, and all that. And getting gems is beneficial in the long run to me. For me personally, if you look at my gear, for my characters, I, I scrapped every set of gear that I had. Not every, but on the characters that I didn't use. Like, for example, the Captain Meliodas, I removed whatever attack, crit damage set I put on him, and I started giving characters HP defense all around. Now, obviously, you can see some up here, like attack crit damage. That's specifically to this king alone. There's a reason for that. I won't get into it. 
I, I just want to make sure all my characters have the same gear, and it's not really that big of a deal to me. So that's why I want food, therefore I can farm more food and gain more hearts and worry about that. That's kind of my issue at the moment. And I'll always find gear from, you know, whoops, patrols. You know, it'll always be here. I'll do it from, you know, the equipment draw, which you should be doing because I'm pretty sure it's still 8%. Uh, gear from sometimes some of these. They'll give you gear. And even from Fight Festival as well. You can get little pieces of gear from there too. So gear to me is not the biggest uh, the biggest worry. My biggest issue, my biggest problem. Food and affection is. So start building. If you are just starting the game, build. Come on, load for me please. Thank you. Build out this team. And farm food whenever the half stamina comes off. For these characters. Farm as much as you can for Arthur. Farm for Zaratros, Deanne, Alioni. Get them to level 5 affinity. And then when... And just keep grinding out and keep milking out this affection. Because as you can see you can get so many gems. So many. And every 25 levels. If I go... What? Ah! Level 200 and then... 225, 250, you get 10 gems instead of 5, which is huge. I don't know the official math, you have how many gems you can get from level 5 to all the way to level 250. But it's a lot. It is a lot. If you can't see the math here, then there is no hope for you. So start doing this, earn these gems... Get that food, get those gems, get that affinity, get that affection. Because this, this is how you can literally convert stamina. Pure stamina. For any of these characters. To gems. So, that's just pretty much what I want to talk about. Farm your food, get these characters up, enjoy your day. Have a good one.